Hey there, no realms. So this is probably, well, not even probably. Like, no realms... Maybe only has one deck? It's, it's kind of like two decks. But, uh... Hubert seems to be the win condition in both of them, as far as I know. Not that. Hey there, Kyotoru. So we can start with that. Yeah, we gotta play the Knackers for sure. Oh fuck, he might have a trebuchet. That's not the best. Okay, I, I should have probably played the Knackers. Yeah, I definitely should have played the Knackers uh, in the front. Everybody has the trebuchet because it's just so worth it. And you need to play a certain way. Against. Uh, no round because of it. And Botchling again. Like, no realm is such a weird faction because it has like... Like, auto includes. Like, not, not too many, but like, it has auto includes and complete garbage. And that's so weird. Uh, the lock guy is gonna be super useful. Even later. I'm not sure what to go with here. It's the highest. So, let's do something like that. Yeah, that's enough. I can eat the fruit. Yeah, I don't really want to play the Archisport now. It's a bit vulnerable. Kind of holding on to Doragura here. Liano Harpy. The fruit. I can boost. You really need help. Kind of Gotta help. Or furniture of fruit. In the back, along with some riders, still not boosting. It's close. I could have boosted the rider. So, but I very much suspect that his wing condition uh, relies on a long ground. And maybe we are more flexible than that. If I got old spear tip here, that would be so good. That would give us the freedom to push him. So please. Give me that. This could be okay in a long round, but I have no way to trigger it. I'm not sure what to do here. Do something like that. Pretty innocent. Like... Did it even matter? I could just put down a bunch of weak cards. Although we Death might need to, to be enemy. careful here. I 
think I'm just gonna keep playing. Yeah, swing your sword, mate. No. <clears throat> the last one. Go Arcuspor again. If I'm pushing him, and I'm, I'm thinking. Well, I should take it seriously. They all play the same way. Oh shit! New leader since I played last. Yeah, and she's so damn ugly. I don't like her for that. Also, it really is completely broken, but now we can play her without feeling bad about uh, playing her, but you're definitely gonna feel bad about her looks. I can do Count Cold though. If you insist. Just to encourage him to play a little bit more. Yeah. Well, I can't blame Nora Realm, but uh, it's a bit of an issue that his strategy is so predictable. And that definitely affects the fun a little bit. Nasty business, that. But that's no good. I can pass now, and that's okay. Oh. I think we're just gonna play Goliath too. What the fuck? My neighbor is crazy. Sounds like he's just in the process of building his room. 7 p.m. Hmm. Maybe Goliath time. Yeah, we do have a lot of uh, guys that get get value on the board, so maybe we're just gonna push. His hero power is better than a, a short round, but his strategy revolves around like some longer round, just some crazy finisher. You just lock that. Unlock. Interesting. Now, we do have a problem. He's summoning circle. Is getting to the point where it will actually do something. His blaze is already a, a 5 and he can probably play... The thing is, if he plays Hubert... 
plus something, plus of course Blaze, plus he can play the hero power. I don't really see him holding on to Hubert here. But I'm gonna pass. He might do it. I don't I don't know what kind of cards he has. Maybe he has something. Might work. I don't know. I'm a little bit surprised by this uh unlock. That's obviously weak. Oh crap, no, that's, that was actually pretty good. Mind that. Hey, as you saw. Yeah, but I was afraid of that. I think we had to go away. No, we, we might get punished anyway. I think he has a, like, a Dragon Dream. Plus Nivellan. It, it's really hard to shut this down. Uh, that's not gonna help me too much. That helps. So... Gold is decent too. To breathe incoming. Uh, that would be nice to kill. And we're just gonna eat it right away. Assume one allied unit. I don't care too much about consuming you. But we're gonna consume it right away. Then kill the Lyrian Arbalest. Maybe that guy. Uh, definitely that guy, I, I believe. Definitely this guy. This could be so bad. These dogs have no honor. Fuck me. If he has some boosts, uh, we could be a pretty bad spot. Maybe he has a Chiron X, something like that. Your goal turn one always? Do we really see the need for that? I don't know now. He's probably gonna conclude that this sucker uh, doesn't have a way to shut down Selkirk. Hey, Tsarn. I mean, round three. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's usually the plan. Unless something very specific comes up. I lose this. So it's gonna be five plus yeah, eight plus five plus eighteen twenty twenty seven ish twenty seven damage plus the boosted dude. And I only gonna have like uh twelve to answer it. I think we lose. This deck is pretty polarized because if you have a counter to Huberk and you have last say, flipping no chance with a Huberk guy. But I don't have it. This deck does this deck doesn't have it. 
And uh, we lost by five points, which is pretty uh, disappointing. But I did assume that he also has um, a dragon's dream, and he didn't, or maybe he mulliganed it away. If he had this information that he didn't have a dragon's dream, uh, maybe I should have uh, went for a long round. Anyway, GG, Kyotaru. Oh, crack! One of the most popular guys. So we don't have any way to crack the egg other than eating it. And you know what? I like eating some eggs. So let's go with that. And this guy probably can go away. And that's good. Just net deck Sir Pumpkin? Uh, actually, I didn't. I didn't net deck Sir Pumpkin. I just... Uh, I, I actually saw this deck. Heavily inspired. This deck is on the one... Uh... Some kind of tier list that, uh, uh, one band of, uh, one clan, one group released on, on, on Reddit. I'm not sure. Uh, I didn't that deck Sir Pumpkin, who knows. But I suppose all decks kind of end up, uh, looking similar after, after some time. Hey, John. Oh, Team Aratusa, that those are the ones. Waiting for the thaw. Yeah. Spore. Oh, you're just gonna hit it, so that's not great. So we might just go with egg. By the way. Then we arc spore. Then we Drowner, hopefully something in the back, in the egg, or why not? <clears throat> I, will I just got back from uh, to China from uh, three weeks in the UK. I had forgotten how expensive that country was. <laughs> yeah. Especially if you were, well, I suppose that's true for you as well, but... Even if you're coming from Europe, like, damn, UK, crazy. Don't you pester me. The food is not expensive, actually. The food is actually quite reasonable. It's a little bit more expensive, but if you are, if you, if you're willing to shop in in uh, decent shops like uh, Lulu, that's the one I actually choose. Then the food is actually very reasonable. But uh, if you're just like trying to shop in like uh, in many other stores, some are okay, but like in the local smaller shops are like, whoa, really? <laughs> can be quite crazy. I've been playing the hell out of your hand buff deck with a few changes. Cranes. Blue and all the other way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, uh, the the biggest difference is that uh, any prepared food, most of all, uh, is uh, is like a lot more expensive because, uh, of course, manpower is more more expensive. Hmm. Play this in the back. Still decent. Uh -huh. Oh my god, public transport and Chinese money. Same. I'm actually not even dealing with trains uh, myself. I'm living in a, in a smaller city. So. Not even uh, dealing with that. But I, I did look into it, and London is pretty damn expensive. So. I wouldn't really move there unless I had like a sweet job. 200 pounds for return from Canterbury to Manchester. Uh, apparently the, the price of the ticket changes uh, throughout the day. And also if you 
um, order it beforehand, like even like a month before or something like that, it's it's a lot cheaper. I can't say I, I I know it a lot, but apparently it's the case. That is off peak. That is off peak. On peak, the money is insane. <laughs> yeah. The, the, it changes a lot. And, uh. Ow. Boost an allied unit by two. So, I think I need to trigger the egg and the Veracat. Unless I'm doing Ciliano Harpy and just one Bruce. may be acceptable. Okay. So, 12 points take the game. A bit tricky. <laughs> 11 pounds for a pack of cigarettes? Uh, that's intentional. As far as I know. They're trying to get the population. Uh, get off that crap. And that... And, uh, and it's highly taxed. How can I pollute my lungs on that money? You're not supposed to. And that's because the welfare, or not welfare, well, the National Health Service is meant to provide for everybody, so they're trying to be sneaky, so you take care of yourself. It's not like in, man, in many other countries. Yeah, I think we need to pass. I just pass. Everyone just uh, vapes now, though. It's not really solving the problem. Apparently, it's a uh, lot less damaging. Uh, last time I checked, it was like apparently it's five times as uh, well. It, it kind of depends on what because it it, it changes because uh, you can buy. I don't I don't vape myself, but. Apparently you can buy different cartridges and uh, some have uh, more nicotine in it and others uh, have none. So, but apparently even even those who have more, apparently it's like uh, five percent as, as as damaging as as uh, uh, doing cigarettes, something like that. But I'm not really doing it myself, so I can't say much about it. Crack! What now? We just gotta play the rider pretty damn soon. Hey, Syrup. I think it's nearly as bad. Um, uh, apparently not. But I'm definitely open to learning more about it. I just, I just don't really care about it myself, so I didn't really look into it that much. But I did just check it out to just confirm that apparently it's a uh, a lot less harmful. Uh, which is a pretty good thing, because... Um, huh? Smoking can off? be... Well, the reali reality of smoking is that, you know, it, it's just something that you might enjoy doing, but it is obviously a, an unhealthy habit. And I'm not really out to get you for that. Just... Uh, <laughs> can get bad. I feel like if I if I tell a story that I'm just trying to affect you in some way. But I don't know, like I I I had my well my fair share of influence when it came to smoking. But I just never really cared too much about it myself. The main thing 
why I really... Well, I don't really have a reason why I'm not really doing it myself, but... You know, I also knew a woman who, who was a smoker, like, throughout his life. And, uh, like, basically couldn't even... Uh, couldn't even breathe through. She had to be outside, or... She had to be, like... She had to open the window inside inside her room just to not suffocate. No, oh, it can get pretty bad. And of course, this is just what I, I'm seeing. Probably she's not feeling so uh, hot about it, uh, even apart from that. If you don't mind me asking, where in UK are you staying? Uh, East Yorkshire. That's where I am. Put our steel to the test. <laughs> I live in China. Impossible to quit smoking here. <laughs> As a man, how so? I'm I'm curious about that. Because when I was living in Hungary, it might be because of that. But because when I was living in Hungary, smoking was. Maybe just, just as prevalent, or maybe more prevalent. Kinda depends. Uh, it definitely went down a little bit, and it, of course, changes, like, uh, uh, based on where are you. But... Well... You definitely were pretty... It was common to... To deal with, like, second-hand smoking, because you're, like, you're next to smokers. I guess that's what I'm just trying to say. <clears throat> Eka here! Everyone smokes and giving a cigarette is a common meeting. Wow, really? That's crazy! <laughs> I do like the name of the cigarettes in Star Wars. They're called Death Sticks. Fucking love that. That's more of a social thing in China. Huh. I need to boost. I just consume? It says one. It would be one. Send this guy in. Need the boost. I just didn't care too much about it myself. But I I know for sure that the thing is it works. Those those high taxes on smoking uh, kind of work because people are just gonna say, "Wow, fuck that!" I'm I'm doing at least vape. I don't- I'm not rich enough to smoke anymore. So, in a way, they work. So... That. From Yorkshire, coming from Mahakam, how did you enjoy the, the British winter? It was a little... odd. It... It's... Not sh well... I gotta think about it, how to... Compare it. So there was no snow, but it was pretty windy and often wetter. I don't know. It felt colder in, in, in ways. Also, this place is colder than what I'm used to, for sure. I brought a bunch of uh, short, short pants and holy crap, I didn't get my... Uh, uh, didn't get any value out of them. When I came here, I basically just like, yeah, forget about those suckers. Uh, so it, it's definitely colder here than I'm, than what I'm used to. But it's a nice place. I can't really complain. It's not too different. Did you die of cold? It's not that cold. Won't pay us in gold. 
pay us in blood. You were in Manchester for a week and there was snow there? Hmm. It's actually not even that common in Hungary to see snow. It, it kind of depends. Sometimes you see snow, sometimes not. Sometimes I, it was like crazy amount of snow. But basically what I can say about the Hungarian weather, at least where I was, is that... Uh, uh, well, it was warmer, you know. In the summer, it could get like stupidly warm. Like, hide in your room because it's so damn warm. Or you just like go crazy, it's so warm. Like, I don't know, like... 40, 43 Celsius, 45 in, in cases, like, what the fuck? No, too high! A lesson in humility coming now. <clears throat> Yorkshire, you find the use for shorts? Maybe a couple of days a year? <laughs> Fuck. I was trying to... I was trying to use them. It didn't work out so well. So it feels windy and not cold at all. I think it feels colder because it's windier. Yeah, definitely. So, I used to like wind quite a bit. And now I'm more neutral to it. Because when you have those like, you know, just like warm wind just blowing in your hair and your face and whatnot. It's just like, it's just awesome. Where you just get that like warm rain that's just like, oh, this is so nice. But if it's just like, you know, just like so cold no it's it's not as cool not like advertised I just need that again I can't really complain it's okay Britain is wet and windy never very cold but uh, that wet wind which cuts you to the bone. Uh, the biggest problem is that when you're like, when you're just walking around, it's like not too bad. But when I was, I was, I was using a bike. I'm using a bike quite a bit just to get around. And uh, it can get, it can get intense. Like my hands get cold. My yeah. Wait, this is the boost though. I see so I did use uh, gloves uh, on the bike. A couple of times. Because that just made it more bearable. Hopefully. Uh, oh, that's strong. But close. Fuck me. Could be one? Yeah, maybe it's something big. It was okay. Gee, crack. The meta beast versus the meta beast. Well done. I'll get you next time. <laughs> 